tonight on Identity. Yeah! One daring contestant will push his luck to the breaking point. I am a psychopath. How you feeling? Sick to my stomach. As he attempts to identify 12 total strangers. White House intern. Hey, old Mike Tyson. Music, video, dancer. You are my mail order bride. He does look like a pickpocket. And walk away with $500,000. This is a coin toss, and you're risking a quarter of a million dollars, right? Yes! This is the identity game you don't want to miss. Look is on your side, my friend. And it starts now. This is unbelievable. Is that your identity? Hello, welcome to Identity. Ever since I was in high school, I've had a pretty good eye for people. I consider myself a student of life, which is another way of saying I sucked at geometry. <laughs> Tonight, there'll be no written exams. The only thing we'll be testing is the powers of observation. And the first player to test their observations is Christian Saulnier from Norwood, Massachusetts. Hey, hey, nice to you, man. And what do you do? I work for a mortgage company. And you, you got to get a good eye for people? I'd like to think so. You know, so. all you got to do is match uh, 12 strangers, 12 identities, and uh, you're done. Seems pretty simple. Okay. Let's meet the strangers. Those are your 12 strangers. And now it's time to reveal the identities. Oh, okay. Goodness gracious. As you can see, there's everything from someone who knocked out Mike Tyson to someone who dated Flavor Flav. Yeah. From a pickpocket to someone who lived in a biosphere. From a competitive eater to a White House intern. <laughs> now take a moment to examine all 12 of these strangers. Okay. Just look at them, suck it in. Really look carefully. What yeah. you're trying to find are characteristics that are unique to each person. Absolutely. I guarantee if you pay close enough attention to every detail, there is a way to figure all 12 of them out. Remember, each identity belongs to one and only one okay. of the strangers. Absolutely. Looks great. And if you can match all of these strangers to their identities, you will win enough money to take the whole audience out to dinner. Throw up, throw up. Let's play Identity! <laughs> now, while you're just kind of perusing the board, we're going to give you a chance to find out a little bit about three of the strangers. I'm going to ask about number six. My name is Apollo, and I like to people watch. Number three. My name is James, and I'm currently restoring an old Corvette. Number 12, let's learn about you. My name is Jerry. My favorite movie is Out of Africa. Starts out simple. First identity is worth $1,000. Great. Which one do you want to solve first? Go okay, that's all right here. We got a good looking group here. Absolutely, yeah. We'll applaud that. Right, right when I said that, number seven smiled at me. That's my favorite number, so. I'm looking at you, number seven. But I'm gonna go with something I think is pretty easy. I'm a boxing fan, a sports fan, okay? Uh -huh. Let's go for $1,000, which is a lot of money, absolutely. I'm gonna go with KO'd Mike Tyson. <laughs> Knocking out Mike Tyson, not too many people have done that. And uh, I'm gonna lock in that identity as the biggest man on the stage and one of the baddest. I'm gonna go number nine for KO'd Mike Tyson. Number nine, uh, sir. Christian here looked at you, thought that you'd be the guy that might have knocked out Mike Tyson. Is that your identity? KO, baby. I knocked out Mike Tyson. <laughs> Buster Douglas, of course, Absolutely. the first man to knock out yes. Mike Tyson. Yes, right, you get a thousand dollars. Coming up next is five thousand. Eleven strangers, eleven identities left. <laughs> Which identity do you want to solve next? What's okay. the next? Excellent. Easiest? Which one of you dated Flavor Flav? Wow, that's saying a lot. What are you looking for? Well, it's tough. I'm looking for someone who would date Flavor Flav. First of all, <laughs> okay. <laughs> 
number four. Looks like she could have dated Flavor Flav. Number seven, looks like she's pretty good. Number two, I'd like to date. Uh, <laughs> you know. And number 10 up there too, I date you too. Don't, don't think I don't see you up top there. So let's think here. I'm narrowing it down to two here. We got number four and number seven, okay? Number four thinks, looks like she can handle Flavor Flav. Mm -hmm. I'm eyeballing you number four, okay? You know, got the hoop earrings. Uh, looks like she's got some city style to her. She's got the hair going. She's got the strut and she's got the attitude. I'm gonna go on a whim here. I'm gonna go with my gut. I'm gonna lock in number four as dated Flavor Flav. Yeah. Okay. Number four. Number four, dated Flavor Flav, you're saying? Yes. Right, number right, four. Right. Christian says that uh, your identity is having David Flavor Flav for $5,000. Is that your identity? I'll take the rap because I dated Flavor Flav. Yeah. Yeah. You know, uh, Christian, you got $5,000. You're going for $10,000. But the, the, the further you go, the tougher it gets. We have a few helps. You've got a mistaken identity. You can make one mistake, stay in the game. That's You've also got the try identity, which means if you get an identity, you can narrow it down. Just tell us which identity will narrow it down to three possible strangers. Okay. And then you've got uh, ask the experts for their opinion. Tonight, we've got a body language expert. Okay. We've got a psychotherapist. And we have a former FBI agent. Excellent. So you can ask them whenever you want about any identity. Ten strangers left, ten identities left. What do you want to solve next, man? Yes, all right. All What's right. the next easiest? Okay. I broke the ice. I feel good. My confidence is building. And like I said from the beginning, I'm going to go music, video, dance. Oh, really? Okay. Yes, I am. And who are you considering yeah. for that? I'm considering number seven, number one. And I didn't want to go with this now because... She is so good looking, I wanted to keep her around for a while, and I didn't want to send her away. Anybody else who could be a music video dancer? Uh, number one could be if it was like a Weird Al Yankovic video. Uh, okay. And number 11 doesn't look like he has the moves either, okay? But number 10 has got legs that don't quit, but I think number seven's got that style that I would look for in a music video dancer. No knock in the oven. All right, I'm going with the beautiful, lovely, and sexy number seven. That's my music video dancer. Number seven. Number seven. Christian looked at you, thought you were a music video dancer. You know, Christian. Are you now uh, ready? I got, I got that out. I got that out. You're now okay. ready for me to ask? I, I want to Because I'm not. I'm going to take a break. This oh. is a really good place to Dance all you want, man. Who are you dancing for? Ultimate game of first impressions. I'm standing here with Christian Saulnier yes, from uh, Massachusetts. Yes. And you could already be on your way to winning a half a million dollars. Before the break, for $10,000, you said that you thought that Seven might be a music video dancer. Yes, I did. I did. Is that your identity? I am a music video dancer. Yeah! Yeah! There you go. Yeah! Yeah! There you go. You got $10,000. $10,000. $10,000. Yes! $10, there are nine strangers left. There are nine identities. And wow. I'm going to let you hear okay. from two more strangers. Ooh, excellent. Thank you very two much. Two want to hear from there. Um, let's hear about number eight. My name's Joey. I once went three days without sleeping. Whoa, Whoa. Wow. Yeah. Number five. I'd like to hear something from you. 
My name is Catherine, and I'm addicted to karaoke. Oh, great. Hey, there you go. go. All right. $15,000. Get 10 now. Excellent. You're going for $15,000. Which one do you want to solve next? OK. Wow, there are some tough ones up here. Let's, let's not be uh, too rash. Let's not too be rash on this one. Let's, I'm going to use the tridentity, I think, okay. here on this one. I understand the way the tridentity okay. works. You pick an identity. OK. We narrow it down to three strangers. One will be that identity, and two will have been randomly picked. OK. So which one do you want to use the tri identity on? I think I'm going to do the White House intern on this White one. House Yeah, intern. I'm going to do the White House. Come on, audience. Come on, come on. Come White on. House intern. Yes. White House intern. OK, White House intern. White House intern on this now one. Now you're going to have to solve this after you see the three. But yes. right now, let's see the three. Okay, good. I like this. I like this. I like this pen. What do you okay. like? What do you like? Well, of the three up there, I would think it would either be the number five or the number eight. Why is that? I just think three, he just does not look like a White House intern to me. He just doesn't. He just does not look like an intern, okay? But eight could be. But the way he's dressed, I think I'm going to get rid of him too. My first instinct was five on this. I'm going to put in number five. Lock it in as my White House intern. Okay? You have ten thousand dollars for fifteen thousand dollars. White five. House intern number five from a new friend, Christian. Please. Is that your identity? Please, five. to the chief, I am the White House in yeah! There you go. $15,000. You've crossed over a little bit. Oh. We're now going for $25,000. Stakes wow. get a little bit higher. You get into some yes. real money. Yes. So yes, to sir. help you out or uh, yes. maybe to confuse you, oh. we've asked you to bring along a few friends. Who you got? Introduce us. Well, I did. I brought along two friends, the Butler brothers from Winthrop, Massachusetts, <laughs> two of my best friends. Okay? okay. Who's in the center there? Okay. Representing my family, my younger sister, Danielle. <laughs> how's, he, how's he doing? He's doing great. All right. Yeah. Yeah. Now, okay. The Butler Brothers, they're there for you. Yes. But you know all the decisions come down to you. What do you want to solve next? Okay, all right. This is it. This is getting fun here. This is getting fun. Okay, we have competitive eater, eater up there. Ten and two are definitely not competitive eaters. I Why know. is that? Why, why not ten and two? They uh, have bodies to kill, so they are definitely not my competitive eater, okay? What are you looking for in a competitive eater? A competitive eater? A person who just looks crazy, because who uh, on earth would want to do that? Number 11, I got my eyes on you, okay? Oof. Competitive eater, you're looking for someone who can, one, eat a lot. Okay, that's a big thing, yeah, that's a big thing. Number 11, no sweat, no nothing, number 11 is the competitive eater. <laughs> number 11 is the celebrity blogger. Wow, all right, hey! The Butler brothers are going with the blogger. <laughs> yeah. I'm a big fan of Perez Hilton's website. I check oh. it daily. So I'm positive, absolutely positive. Excellent. If He's positive, but you're betting the money. You know that. I'm, I'm, I'm with you. If there's anybody, if there's anybody that knows pop culture and surfs the web better than this guy, I want to meet him. Casey is a legend on the WWW. So <laughs> <laughs> this is, I trust him. Okay, so I'm going to lock in my celebrity blogger. I'm going to lock in number 11. Come on, audience. Perez Hilton. Hilton. You think it's Perez Hilton? Yes. Is that what he said it was? Okay, uh, number 11. Perez Hilton, he thinks you are. King of for, all media. For $25,000. You nervous? Yeah, I'm nervous. You need some time to calm down. <laughs> Let's take a break. We'll find out when we come back. Oh, my God. Identity. This is Christian Saulnier, yes, and uh, you've already won fifteen thousand, going for twenty-five thousand. Yeah, One of the brothers, the Butler told, brothers, yeah. Butler brothers told you that that was uh, Perez Hilton, right? Perez I, Hilton. I've heard he's the queen Number of all 11, media. For twenty-five thousand dollars, Christian says you are Perez Hilton, celebrity blogger. Is that 
your identity. Perez. My name is Perez Hilton, the queen of all media, and I am a celebrity blogger. <laughs> You now have $25,000. You're yes. going for $50,000. Seven strangers, seven identities left. Hey, which one do you want to solve next? We got any, any advice, guys, for a one we want to pick? I like number yeah. six is the air guitar. Air guitar. Champion. Okay, yeah, we talked yeah. about that. Okay, what do you think, audience? Is the air guitar guy? Six, air guitar. Okay. All right. And we'll put you on number six for the air guitar. Ah, uh, we got the wristband going. He's got the little blazer going, the sneakers and the jeans. He's got the flared out Elvis. Paula going. Uh, number one. He looks like he may play a mean air guitar. What are you looking for in a guy who plays an air guitar? I'm not sure. Like he looks like Johnny Bravo to me from the Brady Bunch. So maybe. <laughs> you know. Six is my air guitar yeah. champion. Yeah. Come on, Come on. Man, those wristbands. Fifty thousand dollars on yeah, those man. wristbands. Number six. Yes. Come down here. Let's Ooh, step back in. Rachel, right, bring right. out an air guitar. Grab an air guitar. Bring it out here. <laughs> Let's see. Yeah. He's got it on. Air guitar champion. Play that, Is baby. Is that your identity? Let her rip, baby. Looks good in your hands. That is not my identity. Oh. Oh. All right, brother. You got oh, it. All right. Here we go, brother. I'm oh, sick. I'm sick. I know. That was tough. That was oh, tough. My God. That just lost you your mistaken identity. But you, I'm not sending you home. You're still in the game. You can still play. You still got twenty-five thousand dollars. Now I've got to ask you. Okay. You want to take the twenty-five grand and go home, or do you want to keep playing? Because if you keep playing and you miss, right. You get nothing. Wow. Nothing. Nothing at all. So, do you want to go home with 25 grand? What do you think, audience? I want to play identity. I'm going to keep playing. I'm going to keep playing. All right, okay. I'm going to roll the dice a little bit. Get okay. one more wrong. Go home with zero. On this one, I'm not 100% confident, and I'm going to include the panel of experts. And I would like to ask. Which of the remaining that I have lived in Ohio State? Okay, we're gonna start with Mark Edgar Stevens, our body language specialist. Okay. All right. Thank you, Mark. The first thing to take a look at if you're looking at someone who lived in a biosphere is to know what kind of a person lived in a biosphere. Okay. Now, this is usually somebody who's there studying something who doesn't need to get out into the world for a lot of things. When I look up there, I look at number 12 and I think she could be a scientist, she could be somebody who's really studying things. This is somebody who's very focused, very studied. For me, lived in a biosphere, number 12. I like that. Thank you very much, Mark. And Stacy Kaiser, our psychotherapist. So, so I'm looking for somebody, too, who also appears to be low maintenance. Somebody who isn't going to need to be having all of their, you know, refills on cosmetics. So that made me rule out these more attractive looking women who look more done up. Right. And, and it led me towards number one, who, first of all, could have lived there for a lot of years and still had those pants <laughs> from when he moved in. And, and also looks like, you know, the grooming thing, I mean, it looks nice, but it doesn't look like he needs to really freshen up too much on a regular basis. Sorry, number one! Okay, okay. Now we have Christopher Whitcomb. The FBI investigates about 300 different violations of federal statutes. Not one of them has anything to do with a biosphere. So right off the, right off the bat, we well, there. One. But I would think, and I, and I agree with Mark, I would have to go with number 12 as well. Okay, great. That's great number advice. 12. So you've heard... Uh, FBI and body language say 12, psychotherapist says one, but the final decision is, of course, as you know, up to you. Okay. Which one to solve next? I like this. I, I think um, this, this helped me out a lot. Number one, I, I, I agree with you, but he could be our air guitar Yeah, guy. he might be the air guitar. You know what I'm saying? He's got the pants. Just from process of elimination, so not waste any more time. I'm going to lock in number 12. Come on, 12. Lived in a biosphere. Number 12. Come on, audience, come on! We need this! This is 
$50,000. This is driving me nuts, man. I know. You got 25 grand. You've now sealed it in. You either got 50 grand or you got nothing. You bet 25 oh, grand on payday. looking at 12 and saying that she lived in a biosphere. Yeah, she's back. Okay, number Live. 12. Come on, 12. Come on, 12. Oh, you know what? It just struck me. This is a great place to take a break. Oh, yeah. We did a little commercial. We did a little commercial. We'll be right back after this. Identity. I'm here with Christian Saulnier from Norman, Massachusetts. And uh, before the break, you're locked in number 12 <laughs> as living in a biosphere. Okay. Oh, come on. Number 12. Please, Paul. For $50,000. Is that your identity? Dr. Jerry Nielsen, and I have lived in a biosphere. Yes! Yes! Put them into a frenzy. Woo! Okay, Christian, you got 50 grand for $75,000. Wow. wow. Which identity do you want to solve then? Okay. I like this, just from process of elimination. Igata champion, pretty random, competitive eater. <laughs> Another pretty random thing. Wow, mail order bride. What are, you, what are you looking for in a mail order bride? Someone who may look like she's, uh, you know, from another country. Yeah. Number 10. Okay. Beautiful. I would mail away for her. Yeah, absolutely. Where does she look like she's from? What country? I don't know. She Hot Slavia? Hot Slavia? Yeah. Yeah, definitely. But I don't know. She looks like she could be an American type of girl. Number two looks like she could be a Eastern European beauty. Uh, who wouldn't marry you, number two? I mean, who could walk down the street and someone would want to marry her? All right, let's do this. Think, what's number 10? Number 10? Well, I don't want to peg it in there. Not a competitive eater. Maybe an Agata champion, but I just doubt it. Could be the pickpocket. Go with your instincts. Right. I'm sad to see you go. I'm gonna be confident. Beautiful number two. You are my mail order bride. All right, all right. Come on. Come on, brother. Come yeah. on. Yeah. 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 Number two, mail order bride. Is that your identity? I'll marry you for seventy-five thousand. Special delivery. Yeah! That's it. That's seventy-five grand. Seventy-five grand. Seventy-five thousand dollars. Seventy-five thousand dollars. Wow. You've got five strangers left, five identities. You have used every one of your helps. You can go home, or you can stay and play for a hundred. Play, 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 Roll the dice. Roll the dice. Roll the dice. Roll the dice. OK. All right. Oh, my goodness. OK. okay. Which one do you want to do next? Well, OK. When I look at 10, yeah. not a competitive eater. Maybe an Agata champion, but I just doubt it. Mm -hmm. Pickpocket. She doesn't need to pick anybody's pocket. Guys will just give her money. Mm, I don't know. Okay. She does. She's got that beautiful fun. blonde hair that does not deserve to go down a chimney. And I have staring at me weighs 124 pounds. Anybody else who could be 124 pounds? Sometimes it can be deceiving. But let's see here. We got any any advice, guys, for a one-on-one -on -one pick? I'm having a hard time. Okay, let's uh, let's think here. Number three. Number three could weigh 124 pounds. Imagine you got to be kind of a smaller, smaller guy. Smaller guy. Okay. Audience, right? Yeah, I like that. Right? Okay. Audience likes a little bit. Yeah. What else could number I three like be? Though? What else could okay. be? Okay. Number three. Three looks so shady that he could he could just be a pickpocket, you know? He does. He does look like a pickpocket. Doesn't he? Who do you think weighs 124 pounds? Let's see here. 
I, I think 10 looks like she's 124 pounds. <laughs> Butler Brothers, Danielle. Yeah, I like it. $75,000 could go away, or you could have $100,000. I don't know how you're standing the tension. I don't know either. I have no idea. I also think, what else could number 10 be? So, big risk. It is a big $75, risk. $75,000, bye-bye. I am going to go on just a hunch on this one. Number 10 weighs 124 pounds. Lock it in. Lock it. Number 10, 124 pounds. Is that your identity? You know it's rude to ask women about our weight. But I do weigh 120. $100,000. Now, now, hey, my, my sisters have always accused me of loving skinny girls, and hey, it has paid off for $100,000. So. You have $100,000. Next up is $150,000. You got four strangers, four identities. What do you want to solve next? How do you feel? How do you feel? How do I feel? Sick to my stomach Casey, is how I feel. Casey has a strong feel. Casey has a strong okay. feel. Okay, give me some. Casey, Casey, like, Casey you've been right. Give me some. I like number eight as a competitive eater. He could be any one of the four. I don't think it's. I don't think he could fit down a chimney. What about number eight being the pickpocket? It's kind of. You forget about Shady. him. He's plain. Yeah. yeah. We, we, kind of blend in a little bit. Blend into the crowd. Uh, number eight. You, my friend, competitive air guitar champion. You well, know? we know number six is not. It's not. An right. Air so you can go. You can go air one guitar. for three for the air guitar champion. There's three people. One of those three can be the air guitar champion. Competitive eater. Is it? What are you looking for in a competitive eater? Generally, you would think someone large, but we all know uh, Kobayashi is not large at all. He's a tiny guy, but he's able to sock away some hot dogs. Uh, number eight's hiding his gut over there. <laughs> okay. Which one are you most confident in? Man. Uh, what about eight on competitive eater? Go for it. Go for it. Hey, I'm with I'm you. I'm the dice. Lock it in. Lock it in. I need you on the dice. I need you on the dice. Behind you? Okay, so I'm going with my gut. I'm going with his gut. Listen, you can go home with one hundred thousand dollars because if you keep playing and you miss, you get nothing. Play. 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 Keep playing. Play. Keep playing. Play. Play. Yeah. Play. 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 I am insane. <laughs> I agree. Go, go. All right, do it. Lock it in. Number eight. You are my competitive eater. You locked it in, didn't you? I think I just locked it in. Yeah. Those three just disappeared, and I'm not could so just confident. be flying away. Ooh. It could have 150,000. I'll take you to Pink's Hot Dogs. Come on. Number eight, competitive eater. It's $150,000. Representing Massachusetts. Come on, baby. $150,000 or? It's a lot of clam chowder. Nothing. That's a possibility, too. Uh, when you put it like that. Is number eight a competitive eater? We're going to find out when we come back. Identity, Christian Saulnier already has $100,000 <laughs> and may be turning it into $150,000. This is right on the line here. You either win or you lose. Either $150,000 or nothing. What you think? I want him to be the competitive Vita, but uh, I'm completely frantic right now. You can't tell what <laughs> I am. Number eight. Come on down here. Come on down. Oh, man. Step over here. Oh, come on. $150,000, number eight competitive eater. Is that your identity? Come on. Has he been to Coney Island? <laughs> Come on. Eat every 
one of those things. Kill it. Oh. $150,000, and you can walk home with that for the next amount you will get, if you are right, $250,000. That is another possibility. So there's two possibilities. There's one quarter of a million dollars, or there's nothing. Betting a lot of money. Are you? You feel it. Am I 100%? No, I haven't been 100% since <laughs> Buster Douglas. <laughs> I, I just, I've loved one as air guitar since the very beginning. Yeah. Right, go with your gut. Go with your gut. Am I able to see his fingers? <laughs> well, they're big. Big guitar. <laughs> Casey. What about number three's fingers? Casey. Well, of course, that's what I'm saying. It's 50 50, Danielle. Have you not figured that out yet? It's 50 50. Air guitar, air guitar. Either one. No, no, no. One, three, air guitar. No, no. Six, no, no. Six, no, no. Right. Those, three, those three look like an air guitarist. He looks like, like air banjo or like air violin or something like that, but not air guitar. He's got, number three's got kind of like the 80s blazer vibe going for the air guitar champion. <laughs> Think about it, think about it. I like one. That's yeah, air guitar. Yeah, I do. This one, I'm doing for my three sisters, my brother, and my whole family, and the Butler Brothers. Lock it Lock in. Lock it in. Roll it. Do it. You, people you better play a mean air yeah, Jimi Hendrix pal. I am a psychopath. <laughs> I am walking in. One, you are my air guitar champion. That's it. He's betting a quarter of a million dollars. Number one, air guitar chip. Come on down here. We tried this once before. It did not go well. Now, last time this didn't work, uh, <laughs> you had the mistaken identity. This time it doesn't work, you're in big trouble. I you know. got nothing. Yeah, my sisters are gonna kill me. Number one, air guitar champion. Whale on that baby. Oh, man. Is that your identity? Play it. Let her rip. Let her rip one. Oh. oh yeah, he's got it. He's got it. Yeah. He's got it. Look at that grip. He's got it. Let her rip one. and a pickpocket up there. You have a quarter of a million dollars, Doc. Quarter <laughs> of a million dollars. You have that right now. Yes. At this second, you have a quarter of a million. If you don't get the next one right, you're going home with Jack. You get nothing. Zero. Zilch. OK, nothing. So do you want to stay with a quarter of a million, just go home, be happy? Or do you want to play identity for a half a million dollars? Play? Good. A thousand! Did you feel it? Yeah! 
What do you think? I don't know, dude. I don't know. I don't know. Dude. Right. Take the money. I'm walking. I'm walking. Two fifty. I like to see you go for it, Casey. Walk it or walk it. I am confident in you. I want you to play. I'm confident. Danielle. You always have the feeling, so if you have the feeling. I don't love her, love her, love her. Chris. This is wrong. 50 Man, you win steer, you wrong. No, I'm just kidding, I'm just kidding. Just said play every single round, every single <laughs> guess. I don't, know, I don't know these. You're I don't know these. these I mean, number three looks like he's bow legged and can balance on a roof. Christian! Christian! I don't know, man. Christian, he also looks pretty sneaky. He looks shady, right? Yeah, shady. shady. Looks he looks shady. He looks so shady that you would just know he was the pickpocket and give himself away. Christian. Be careful, be careful, be careful with number three. All right. That's just, uh, just an observation. He's, he's tricky, huh? He's tricky? I think you want to think about, I think you want to think about number six is the chimney sweep. Imagine yeah. you got to be kind of a smaller Shorter guy to get guy. on the roof. Okay? Audience? Yeah. Huh? yeah like that. What? what does the chimney sweep look like? Uh, I don't know. I saw Mary Poppins, and that's about <laughs> it. So I'm looking for someone who's lean enough to get down there, OK? If I could see his fingernails, maybe see a little soot under there. This guy looks nimble. He looks like he's got some, uh, he's good on his feet. He's good on a roof. Number three, he's been staring at my pockets the whole time, but uh, <laughs> I don't know. I don't know. He's not He's not in the subways. Or he's got too much of a tan to be a, you know, if he's pickpocket, he's in like uh, the Bahamas or something, picking pockets. <laughs> Okay, but now six could be a pickpocket, okay? One of those from the front pickpockets. Uh, you have a quarter of a million dollars. Yeah! A quarter of a million dollars. And there's two possibilities. Yeah. There's one half million dollars. Because if you don't get that one right, you have got nothing. Just want to make sure you understand that. We got a pickpocket and a chimney sweep. I think Three is chimney sweep, I think six is pickpocket. You got a 50 50 chance. You got 50 50 shot, number six. You did. I uh, want you to play. What are you going to do? 50 50. I mean, like, if this guy, like, looks at me and, like, you know, has dirt under his fingernails, like, ooh, I'm the chimney sweep, then I'm going to be sick to my stomach. Yeah. It's a lot of money. Go where you got. Quarter of you a million. You change your mind. Dollars. What did you go for? Now you say it's a lot of money. Hey, it's 50 50 up there, it's 50 50 over here. Lock it in? Quarter of a million dollars. I don't want to be the reason he loses half a million dollars. I'm going to lock in number three. Wait, 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 wait. Oh, yeah. 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 You're going to risk, now this is a coin toss, and you're risking a quarter of a million dollars? What are you thinking, man? Oh, I have no idea what I'm thinking, but. <laughs> I'm saying walk away. Quarter of a million dollars. Fire it up. Here we go. Let's go. Let's get fired up. Here we go. Let's go. Let's get fired up. Number three. Hey, this is my this is my my Tom Brady moment. Hushing the crowd, making the big play. Number three. You're my chimney sweep. Please! Big deal, man. How you feeling? Sick to my stomach. <laughs> I'm throwing up either way. Number three, chimney sweep. If he's throwing up either way, I'm taking a break. We'll find out if you come back. Before the break, Christian Saulnier Sir. was nauseated. You were sick to your stomach. Yes. Because you had just bet a quarter of a million dollars on a chimney sweep. Okay. Which did you say he was? Number three. I said chimney sweep. 
Okay. He's got the jeans, like the worker type of jeans. The other guy's got trendier jeans. He's a working man. He's a chimney guy. He's got the, the not so flashy shoes. So and he's got, a, he's, you know, I just, I just, a chimney sweep is an older profession. He looks older than this guy. So it's down to the Maybe. guy who weighed 124 pounds yes. and the air guitar champ. <laughs> who gave you the air guitar? <laughs> That's what it's down to right now. Hey. Okay, right. man, it's a big deal, man. Number three, chimney sweep. Number six, pick pocket. If you're right, you're gonna walk out of here with a half a million dollars. Yeah. I got me nervous. You got no, me crazy. I, 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 got I got nothing, I got nothing riding on this. You got me crazy. Here. You got me crazy. Number six, big bucket. Number three, chimney sweep for half a million dollars. Oh. Come on, I need it. I need it. I need the energy. That your identity. You swept it up. Thank <laughs> you.